New England boiled dinner. Well, almost. So stay tuned to see what direction we take this. Hey, we're still in February. Believe it or not, this is supposed to be a short month. Anyways, guess what? It's still a New England month. And, uh... Hey, this episode is going to be one of the old-fashioned New England favorites, uh, otherwise known as boiled dinner. Um, Except for I'm kind of doing a little twist on the boiled dinner because not all of it's going to be boiled. And when we were growing up, boiled dinner meant either corned beef or a cured uh, pork shoulder, like a ham. And then uh, we would have the potatoes, the carrots and the cabbage to go along with it. So, I'm going to boil everything except for the corned beef. Um, because I kind of have a different take on corned beef. I found this, uh, didn't stumble across it, I actually kind of concocted it myself out of an old Navy recipe where we used to do a apple glazed uh, roast pork. And I'm like, hmm. What about apple glazed corned beef? And what I would do is I would get some cider and I would boil it down into a syrup and I would use that as a glaze for my corned beef and it was coming out really good. And uh, so I would roast it, I wouldn't boil it. Um, I would tightly cover it with foil, uh, roast it for a couple of hours, take the foil off, throw my, uh, my syrup glaze over the top and uh, finish it or brown it off and it was just absolutely fantastic melt in your mouth and then that's like why am i doing all this boiling i've got willis wood boiled cider right here so i started using willis woods boiled cider now this is not a commercial for willis woods but hey it's good stuff and uh we use it on a lot of different things so i cut out the boiling part and i use willis wood boiled cider and it comes out fantastic so what we're going to do is I'm going to get all my veggies in a pot. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean up my uh, corned beef, get it in the oven, basically set it, forget it. Then we come back and pull it all together and we have some sort of boiled dinner. For this boiled dinner, I'm going to use fingerling potatoes. You know why? Because I really don't want to peel and cut potatoes. And next up is going to be carrots, which I'm going to cut into about an inch and a half chunks and place them in my pot. And next up is my cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and remove the stalk. And then I'm going to divide this into four pieces. And I left a little bit of the stalk on to hold the uh, cabbage together while it cooks. And after I'm done cutting the cabbage and getting into the pot, I'll go ahead and cover everything with water and set it over on my stove. And there we go. Now I have my corned beef here and what I'm going to do is go ahead and trim off any excess fat that I don't want uh, on my corned beef. Corned beef can tend to have a lot of fat on it. So I'm just trimming up a little bit here. And I want to also point out that I went ahead and thoroughly rinsed the corned beef off. It can be a bit salty. And I see a little bit more fat here that I want to get rid of. I am leaving a fair amount of fat still on top of the corned beef. That's going to break down into some really nice juices. So I think that's just about good. So into my roasting pan goes the corned beef. And I'm going to go ahead and take the little seasoning packet that comes with the corned beef. And uh, we'll just kind of rub the uh, seasoning all over the uh, corned beef, both top and bottom. And that should be just about it. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and take a large piece of aluminum foil. And I'll go ahead and uh, cover and seal this roasting pan nice and tightly. And I'm going to pull the top up a little bit, make a little tent on there, because I don't want the foil touching the top of our uh, corned beef. Okay, so we have our corned beef prepped. I have this tightly wrapped that's going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about two hours. I got my vegetables over here. I'm going to throw some water in on these, put the lid on it. I'm not actually going to turn this on to probably about 45 minutes from when my corned beef is going to be done. So the only thing I have left to do is now is pop this in the oven, get this over on the stove, set it, forget it, and then we'll come on back. Okay, we're back. 
It's been about two hours. I've pulled my uh, corned beef out. And about 25 minutes ago, I went ahead and kicked my veggies on. So what I'm gonna do now is unwrap this roast. There's probably a fair amount of liquid that built up in the pan, so I'm gonna pour that off. I'm gonna give it my uh, boiled cider glaze, pop it in underneath the broiler to brown it up, and then we should be uh, in a really good corned beef place. So, let's see what we got here. It smells really good, oh my God. You could smell in here right now. <laughs> Woohoo, it's looking good. Looking good. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pour off a little bit of this liquid and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a glaze. Hopefully, I don't lose it. And we'll leave a little bit of Alrighty, Willis Woods, boiled cider. Give us a little painting, a little Picasso work on it here. Or as Mr. Miyagi would say, paint on, paint off. Alrighty looking good I'm gonna pop this in underneath the broiler brown this baby off and we'll be right back so we're back and this corned beef is looking really good nice browning on there um, has some nice spring back to it so I just know that's gonna be nice and tender and uh, so I've let it sit for a few minutes and while this was sitting, I actually took the juices that I had remaining in the pan and I added two more tablespoons of the boiled cider to those juices and reduced it down to a nice little sauce that I'm going to actually use to uh, coat my, my uh, corned beef and my veggies here on my boiled dinner. So, mmm, smells good. <laughs> Anyways, um, corned beef. With all meats, you'll want to cut across the grain. And... The best thing about corned beef is you can really tell where the grain is in the corned beef when our grain looks like it's going right across here. Probably trim this off and then I'll start slicing down here. So we'll go ahead and get this little uh, end cut off over here. I'll probably use that for something else like hash or wow it is really juicy. There are juices are just flowing out of that. Alrighty so actually it looks like the uh, grain is going the other way so to give this a turn and there we go I'll get our first slice here and the juices are just flowing out of this corned beef and with corned beef when you see the slices just curling down like that you know it's tender look at that I'm pulling this and it just gets such pliability to it it's so so tender so we'll get another slice off of this or two and then we'll go ahead and start uh, plating up it's looking good all right so before I plate this up I, I got it I gotta go in for a taste because this this is just smelling so darn good and it so tender it's just pulling apart so I'm gonna try this out <laughs> mel a mel excuse me I shouldn't talk with my mouth full but that was melt in your mouth oh my goodness having another one Mm. so good it's not salty the uh, the boiled cider just sweetens it up just enough you know not too sweet but just enough and uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my veggies I'm gonna make up a plate and uh, we'll show you the end product there you have it Boiled dinner, well, sort of. Um, my version of boiled dinner. And uh, we got the cabbage going on here. Notice that I kept it in the segments. Um, got the carrots, fingerling potatoes, 
So don't waste your time trying to cut and peel potatoes. Just throw some fingerlings in there. They're awesome. And our corned beef. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of carrot and potato because that's the only way I could eat carrots as a kid. I had to, had to mix it with my potato. Nice, nice, creamy. Get some of this cabbage with some of that juice. And maybe I'll get a piece of meat to go with that cabbage. Huh, there we go. New England boiled dinner, sort of. And, uh, Wow, you gotta make this. And it's a good little practice for you know what's coming up here soon. Actually, I've got another episode coming up within the next couple of weeks that I'm actually gonna show you how to make uh, coal cannons. Hey, so uh, this episode shout out is to, uh, I don't even know if it's there anymore, but it was a place that I was trying to get to for the longest time, Winter Harbor, Maine. Naval Station, Winter Harbor, Maine. Yeah, that's up there a bit. I think it's up by Bar Harbor or somewhere like that. Anyways, for all those sailors that ever were stationed up in Winter Harbor, um, this shout outs to you. And I hope you uh, got your fill of boiled dinners while you were up there. So hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, most importantly share. And right over here in my logo, Click on that if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the notification bell. So until next time, thanks.